But man, the, thre the train of thought. Alright, train of thought. Let's swim in the stream of consciousness. What is the first thing that comes to your mind? Uh, an actual train just now. Dude, lost. I can see it. The front of the train, the, the smokestack, and the smoke coming out of it actually because of the waste that it produces. Oh! Just no. speaking and being. I'm sorry to interrupt you. What no, saying? you go ahead. Speaking and being. Does it, does it create waste? Create That's a waste? good question. Does thought create waste? Because thought is so consuming. Yes, it can be. And when it is consuming you, then is it creating like destructive waste? Without and realizing. If it does it? create the waste. Where does the waste go? To the people around you. Maybe that's where the negative emotions come from. That's it. Wow. Maybe negative emotions nothing but waste. Oh. Dude, that's fucking intense. It's true. It is it is waste. It's when you <sighs> when you're when you're not when you're so consumed with the thought that you kind of feel shitty, you're actually producing waste and transferring it to the people around you. Yeah, and they're open. They're, they are open to it because yes. we're all open. We're all connected, we're all open open to everybody else's thoughts. Negativity is waste. Therefore, a waste of time. I mean, time. Wow, time. Time is infinite. The universe is curved and collapses upon itself. So sooner or later, this negativity it comes back to, to us. That, that's it. That's when you, you influence somebody with negativity. They have negative emotions. They have anger, sadness, all that, that, that crap that we throw on them. And then it reflects back to us. Dude. It's fucking awesome. So, well, yeah. It feels like there's more, we have more control of it though, than just being, it's like what, what we are is, a, is a, a, a lens, a focusing unit that can change the, the focus at any given time based off of what we've received and what we're tr transmitting. That's fucking... I, a lens, I see, I can see it. I can see it, you know why? If you have a flashlight, if you have a beam of truth, here's your beam of truth, okay? Look at that, see that? The light on the wall. We see the light on the wall, but it's not coming from the wall. It's being reflected. This is the truth, and we are the focusing lens. Hmm. So God is the universe, and the universe is sending this light, we are focusing it, and everything we see in reality is this. What, a reflection of something? A reflection of that light. It's that light, the beam of truth coming through. It's all light. It's all light. Everything we Dude. think we know is just light. That's amazing, because then, then that means that the darkness is just an absence of light. An absence of truth. Yeah. Although that, I think that's misleading, because I think there can be truth in the darkness. That's the challenge that we face, is bringing truth to the darkness. So all those occupied, those unoccupied spaces of the mind is the darkness. Darkness is where we don't want to look. Well, but only maybe it's where you don't want to look. I am the, oh, you as in me specifically or You me? personally. Because you said it's where we don't want to look. But I think looking in the darkness is terrifying, but we learn amazing things. Do we have to look in the darkness? No, but we can. And if we do, it changes our lives for the better, for the more balanced. To be afraid of the darkness holds us back. But if we embrace we the darkness, we're consumed by it. Yeah. Well, embrace it, perhaps. If we explore it slowly with other people, I see, because if you do it by yourself, individuality, the ego takes over. Do we explore better without ego? We get a different kind of perception without ego. Dude. Then if you put several people together and they want to explore the darkness together, then, then won't that be destructive for the commun uh, community?
over there a little bit? Uh, a lot of people exploring the darkness a little you know, is, is positive, but a lot of people, or a few people exploring the dark a lot is dangerous. Hmm. Wouldn't it be better to just feel that darkness with light instead of wasting away? Uh, yes. Which is why electricity is so... I, I consider it the key to existence. Yeah. Electricity. Without it, we would wipe ourselves out. But electricity holds matter together. So a balance of electricity and matter. Thought and weight. Critical thought mass. I think it's the world is experiencing it critically. Yeah, I know because you know it what? At least it will in 2008. 3,000 years ago, the ancient Greeks were as advanced as we are socially. They just didn't have the technology. Yeah. Or they would be doing this. They'd be vlogging. There'd be vlogs from Socrates. <laughs> vlogs! Imagine that! And everybody just connected through these vlogs, talking Greek. And, <laughs> That'd be awesome. and it would still be here today. The, they would, it would be, the language would be alive. The art. Everything would evolve. If only we had this. This is what's missing. Well, but we have it now. Yeah, but it's a it's a dangerous thing because well, I don't want to say it's dangerous because I don't want to give that power to it. But Hitler had Hitler had video. Yeah, he made his first one to manipulate it to a cult like status, and he took personality. All Europe, yeah, all through personality, convinced Europe like had people apparently like didn't even speak when he would come in the room; they'd just be silent. Wow. Because of this illusion of what he was through all the video propaganda, this new magical technology. Oh yeah, he was a, he, you know, he was an actor. He was an artist. He was an artist and an actor. He was an, uh, everything that he did in his speeches, um, he did the, he did like a, all those gestures that were very carefully rehearsed. Uh, to send a hypnotic signal to the masses that would see it and be drawn in but when he would say, Something along the I should climb gang the line in the path of the you know? That was his way of drawing people in. That's the dark magic. The dark magic, but it's magic. Is the magic itself is only dark if we use it for dark. Well magic. if we use movement to accentuate our point, is that then the darkness? No, it's not the darkness. The movement is not the message behind the the move the you know the message behind the movement. comes to the truth. The truth! Yes! The truth! That's what we are here for, Ian. We're here for the truth. The truth is the way we are, not what we yes. do. It's not the specific things that are said or done. It's the way we are. Ah, it's just plain existence. It's fucking insane. It's amazing. It's just, just to be, just to be is, is truth. Well, just to be? You think just existence itself is truth? Existence is truth because you can't hide from it. You can't help but exist. Even if you kill yourself in this quantum dimension, you'll be alive in another quantum dimension. And then there's this whole truth that's all, oh my God, it's, if you think about it, think about it like a, 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 a quilted blanket with all of these little patches. Can you see this from a distance? All minds of the universe, past, present, and future, all together, quilted together in this one thing. And the people like you and me, like here's you and here's me, See, people like you keep on getting drawn together in this pattern because it's fluid. That's why I ended up here. I think everybody is drawn to it, together to it. Yeah. And the internet is a great expedient. Some people are just more interested in understanding what's happening. Yes. And those people get somewhere. But the people who shut themselves off to understanding well, but they just if, don't get it. But if the people that if the people that want to understand more sacrifice the ability to use what they understand by explaining it, and then they themselves can't don't have it because they explained it away. Wow. But the other people can learn from it. But that's assuming that the explanation ruins the truth. But the truth cannot be ruined. The truth simply is. You have two camps of people. Okay, okay this is what I want you to understand. You got two kinds of people. They're going to ask you these two types of questions. One of them is going to ask you, what do you want? And the other type of person is going to ask you, who are you? So what question is more important? Mm. Who are you? 
I believe if there has to be an answer to the question, because I think that what do you want? I mean, I think to want is fleeting. I want to survive. But that's that's not really so much a want as a, an instinct. You want things. You want career. You want friends. You want to smoke weed. Uh, you want to get high without smoking weed. You know that those are wants. They can change today. They can be something else tomorrow. But who you are aggregates from all these experiences. So it's fucking <laughs> it can be. It can. It can be. But or we can take it and flow it all through us as it's passing the current, like lightning. Do you think it's been ten minutes? It's probably getting close. Yeah. Wow. I learned a lot. Interesting. Whiny. <laughs>